A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore if any of our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mines after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Amara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party, but if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir, I understand. They'll soon know the truth, but I have to get ready before they come. I wonder what the reaction will be like. Oh my god, that must be them. I can't wait to see Jenny's reaction. Hello, guys. Whoa, is this really your house, Amara? Yes, sir, this is my house. I can't believe it, sir. I saw her once go home after school, but it wasn't in this house. Amara, is this really your house or are you lying to of us? Of course not, sir. This is my house. Why would I be lying? I don't believe her. She doesn't want to admit that this house isn't hers. This house is too beautiful to be Amara's. Okay, I'll give you 24 hours to prove that this house is really yours. And if you can't prove it, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house again. Okay, sir. What happened, honey? My classmates and my teacher think that I'm lying about this house being mine. But why didn't you prove to them that the house is yours? How can I do that? You can show them the contract of this house, but the contract is still with your dad and he's overseas. So I have to wait for him to come back? My teacher only gave me 24 hours to prove it, mom. Your dad's coming home tonight. Don't worry. All right, mom. I'm going for a walk. I'm so angry. Of course that house isn't Amara's, but she won't admit it. But if it's true that the house is hers, the sleepover will be there every year and not at your house anymore. Of course not. She's lying. I've seen her house. It's not the one we went to today. My dad's not home yet. Honey, I'm home. Dad, finally. Do you have the contract for the house? Yeah, your mom told me you needed it, right? Here you go. Thank you so much, Dad. This is going to solve all my problems. It's almost been 24 hours and Amara still hasn't proven that the house is hers. See, sir, I told you she was lying. If she doesn't prove it quickly, the sleepover will be at yours and she'll get kicked out of school for lying. I'm sure the house isn't hers. I have to show them. Sorry I'm late, sir. Did you bring what I asked for? Jenny, why did she come to school? I thought she wouldn't come because she doesn't have proof. Yes, sir. I brought it. Here you go. Good. Now, let's see if the house is really yours. Oh my god, so that luxurious house is really yours, Amara? That house is really Amara's? Yes, see, sir. I wasn't lying about the house being mine. Jenny, are you ready to leave school? Amara wasn't lying. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kick me out of the school and keep the sleepover at my house. Because my house is still more luxurious than Amara's. Jenny, the sleepover was at your house last year. Your house is really luxurious, but Amara's even more. But that was last year, sir. My house has changed. It's more luxurious now. Okay, students, let's go to Jenny's later to see the current state of our house. Okay, sir. Sir, can I go too? Of course, Amara. All students in class can go. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't want Amara to come to my house. What? Why not? You went to my house too, and I didn't care about it, even though you called me a liar. It's my house, and when I say no, it means no. Why doesn't Jenny want me to go to her house? What does she have against me? I feel sorry for you, Amara. Even though I'm friends with Jenny, I'm sorry. You don't have to feel sorry, Olivia. You know what? Just come with me to Jenny's house. If she says anything, I'll take the blame. Okay. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Olivia. <gasps> Wait, why did you bring Amara here? Oh, come on. Just let her in. You feel sorry for her, don't you? Do you want to get removed from our friend group? No, Jenny, but... Hey, what's that noise? Can you guys stop fighting? Amara, come on in. Whoa, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir. I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be a... Uh... Oh, your house has changed a lot. Yes, sir. I hope you like it so that the sleepover can continue to be here. Okay, I've made my decision. This year's class sleepover will be a... Uh... Jenny's house. 
As I expected, because my house is better than yours. But, sir! Okay, everyone, get ready. We'll meet at Jenny's house tonight at 8 p.m. One more thing, sir. I don't want Amara to come to my house. But I'm also part of your class. When I say no, it means no. Amara, don't make this a big deal. Just listen to Jenny. It's her house after all. Okay, sir. How dare Jenny not let me go to the class sleepover? Why don't you just go regardless? Well, it's easy for you to say. You're Jenny's best friend. And if you really liked me, you wouldn't even go to the sleepover. You know what? You're right. Why don't you replace me at the sleepover? Replace you? But won't Jenny be angry? She won't be angry because if there's one less person, she won't be able to do the sleepover. Oh, I see. Thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. What are you doing here? I said you couldn't come. Plus, there's no one here yet. What happened to your house? I don't know. I just got... I got here and found it like this. Someone must have came to mess it up. It was you, wasn't it? Me? What? No. This whole place is a mess. What am I going to do? Jenny, we're here. Open the door. Do not even think about it. I'm going to count to three and you have to open the door. One, two, three. Three. Huh? Nine? Mom, what does this mean? That's the new rule. We all have to sleep at nine. What if I sleep after nine? What happens then? There'll be consequences. Just obey the rules, honey. It's five minutes to nine. Why are you still playing games? Mom, just wait a minute. Mom, I'm going to sleep now. See, your sister's already going to sleep. Yeah, just give me five more minutes. Honey, honey, where are you? What's wrong? Your brother's missing. I've been looking everywhere for him, but I can't find him. This is all because of yesterday. Jess disappeared because she slept at 8. So, sleeping earlier than 9 is also a problem? I think yes, it should be exactly at 9. They actually don't disappear. What? How do you know? Yesterday, I pretended to be asleep and took a peek. It turns out that they were taken to... Honey, wait, what are you doing? I'm drawing a cat. Honey, you can't draw on yourself. What you draw on your body will stay on your soulmate's body forever. Oops. Bestie. I can know my boyfriend's friend's name or what people have me saved us on the phone. Of course, I'm going to choose contact name. Morning, mom. Morning, honey. Mom, how come you've said my name as least favorite child? No, honey, that was your sister. She took my phone and changed your name. I don't know how to change it back. Hey, Jess. Hey, bestie. I miss you so much. Two-faced? Seriously? How did you know? Did you hack my phone? No, I have the power to see what people save me as. I can't believe you saved me as two-faced. Hey, Amara, you can read the contact names, right? Please, can you check what my boyfriend saved me as? Okay. Girlfriend number three. Not possible. There must be an error in the system. Hey, Amara, why are you in a bad mood? Nothing. I'm just getting annoyed with people. Why are you annoyed? You're the same. Hey, nerd, why are you always walking alone? You don't have any friends, do you? When will you stop bullying me? Never. By the way, what did you say my name as on your phone? I saved your name as the loner. Are you sure? Purple village or yellow village? Which one do you think I should choose? Just choose the purple village, honey, because you don't have any friends and there you can make friends. Okay, I'll choose the purple village. Look at Amara, she's always alone. Yeah, she doesn't have a dad. Continue bullying me, I don't care. You don't care? Yeah, because soon I'll have new friends at the Purple Village. Did you just say Purple Village? Oh my gosh, she chose the Purple Village. Why did they all look surprised? I just heard from the other kids that you chose the Purple Village, right? Yes. Cool, I chose the Purple Village too. Finally, I found someone else who chose the Purple Village too. Did anyone else choose the Purple Village besides us? No, just us. We stand alone. Okay, good. Guys, I know you all don't like me, but can you please just answer one question? Okay, what do you want? Why did you all choose the yellow village? Why didn't you choose the purple village? Because there's a mystery behind the purple village. 
Oh, there's a mystery? Yeah, apparently it's dangerous to go there. But that's not what mom told me. That's weird. My mom didn't tell me it was dangerous. She said I'd have new friends. Okay, I'm about to go see for myself. Three, two, one. Huh? I'm already at the purple village. Welcome to the purple village. Hi everyone. Here you'll have a lot of friends. So nice to meet you. Welcome. Finally, I have new friends here. What was your old village like? Everyone bullied me. Why? Because I don't have a dad. Don't worry, here no one will bully you. In fact, bullying is forbidden. I don't think anyone else chose the purple village besides you. I have a friend named Kelly. She also chose the purple village. But where is she? She hasn't come yet. True. I wonder why she's not here yet. <gasps> that must be her. I'm going to tell her to come over. Hey, finally you arrived. There's so many people you have to meet. Come on. Sorry, Amara, I didn't come here to live in this village. Huh? You didn't come to live here? Then what are you doing here? I came here to pick you up. Listen, you need to know that the people in this village are actually... Wait, miss, before I leave, let me show you what's inside my bag. Well, hurry up. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of money in here. <gasps> that means she's not poor. Please give me the money. Amara, don't listen to her. Give me the money. I need it more. Amara, why is there so many people outside our house? It's because of this blue bag, mom. You need to hide it. You're embarrassing That's me. funny, actually. You still don't know what's inside of this bag, do you? Oh my gosh, money. I'll give you some if you want. No, that money isn't yours. Return it to its owner. Amara, everyone loves you. They said they want to make you the queen of the city. Well, why? Because you're the richest girl in the city. Today's your coronation. It's true what Arya said. This bag really is a blessing to me. Now, please, make your way to the palace for the coronation. Now? Dreams really do come true. Yeah, don't forget to bring your bag. Mm-hmm. Hello, it's time for you to return the bag to me. But I don't want to. This bag is mine. But you promised. You can't change your mind now. Oh, my gosh, I forgot. But this bag is mine. You don't have the right to take it. You'll regret not giving it to me. We'll see. Okay, keep the bag. Amara, everyone's waiting for you. Wow, I can't believe everyone loves me. Now, it's time for your coronation. Is that the crown? It's so beautiful. You decided not to give me the bag, so now you have to pay the price. What? Bag me, mom. You'll get a free bag, honey. Free? Yes, it will consist of three colors. Black means rich, pink means ordinary, and blue means poor. Then I hope I get black. Three, two, one. <gasps> Why did I get a blue bag? You should never wear that bag. I can't believe I got blue. I mean, just look at your house. It's so ugly. Obviously, you're going to get the blue bag. What color did you get? Black, because my family is rich. Bestie, what color bag did you get? I got pink. What about you? I got blue. Oh my gosh, blue? Yes. Why are you shocked? Because you're the only one who got blue, so you're special. Special? How? That means I'm the only poor person in school. No, that bag will be a blessing for you. But I feel like this bag is going to bring me a lot of bad luck. I'm just going to throw it away. Goodbye bag. I hope I get a new black bag. Amara, I heard you got a blue bag. No, miss. I haven't gotten a bag yet. Miss, she's lying. No, I'm not. Anyway, before school finishes, you have to show us your bag. But I threw the bag away. I have to find it. I threw my bag here, but it's gone. Are you looking for this? Hey, that's my bag. Give it back. In one condition. You have to return the bag to me tomorrow. That's my bag. Why should I return it? Fine. See, I knew she was lying. You have to leave the sea immediately, Amara. Why? Because no one here accepts poor people like you. Why does my bag suddenly feel heavy? Come on, please leave. Wait, miss, before I leave... Let me show you what's inside my bag. Honey, wait, what are you doing? I'm drawing a cat. Honey, you can't draw on yourself. What you draw on your body will stay on your soulmate's body forever. Oops. Bestie, what are you doing? Relax, I'm drawing a heart on my face to make it easier for me to find my soulmate. But I think your soulmate won't be happy with a permanent heart on his face. Don't worry, he'll thank me a lot later. Amara, look at your face. <gasps> he turned the heart into a spider. He's not going to get away with this. 
Relax, revenge is not the best answer. Amara, what did you do? A permanent mustache. Let's see if you like this. Bestie, have you noticed your arm? I think your soulmate drew something on it. Yeah, I don't think he liked the mustache very much. What's written on that? <gasps> Wait, he wrote an address. I'm already on Earth, but I'm curious about Planet Reverse. What even is it? Hey, Mom. <laughs> Why are you crying? Your sister just died because she chose the planet reverse. Died? Yeah, so please don't choose that planet. You didn't choose it, did you? No, I uh, chose to stay on Earth. Okay, good, honey. What? Why are the number of students decreasing? Everyone who chose the planet reverse died yesterday. Wait, so people chose yesterday? Yes, that's why they're gone. You didn't choose it, did you? Me? No, of course not. I chose Earth. Good. Why do people even choose planets? If they know they'll die if they choose the reverse planet. People didn't die because they chose the planet. Then why did they die? Because of our teacher. If he knows that someone chose that planet, he'll get rid of them immediately. But why? He said that in the past his son chose that planet and that he never came back. Really? There'll be a planet check soon. A planet check? Yes, the teacher will catch and kill whoever chose the reverse planet. Why do you look so scared? You didn't choose it, did you? No, I chose planet Earth. Okay, then you can relax. There's still a long time before I go to the reverse planet. What if I get caught by the teacher? It's your turn for me to check what planet you Yes, chose. sir. Before I check, you have to close your eyes. So, it turns out there's still people who chose the reverse planet. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kill me just yet. I already warned you. Don't choose the reverse planet. But your son is still alive. No, my son died because he chose the reverse planet. I promise I'll bring your son back. But you have to allow me to go there first. You're lying. You just want to go there. Catch her now. Shut up. Stay here. Why am I here, sir? I've told someone to come and kill you. I hope I go to the reverse planet before I get killed. Just wait right there. It's useless for you to try and persuade the teacher to go. Why is it useless? Because his son is still alive and he knows that. He just doesn't want anyone to go there. But why doesn't he want anyone to go there? Because there's something on the reverse planet, but no one knows why it is. Only his son does. There's only five seconds left. Don't worry, I'm going to go and see for myself. Three, two, one. Don't worry, I'm gonna go and see for myself. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm already on planet reverse. Wait, why is the sun setting from the east? Shouldn't it be setting from the west? Because we're in planet reverse. Everything is opposite here. Huh? Everything is opposite? Yes. <gasps> this is my house. Amara. Mom. Go away, don't ever come to this house again. I don't like Why you. don't you like me? You ask too many questions. Oh yeah, on planet Earth, mom loved me. Meaning here, because everything is opposite, she hates me. Good morning, Amara. Jake, you're rich? I've always been rich. No, on planet Earth, you used to be poor. What? Oh right, I keep forgetting. Everything is reversed here. That's why you're rich. Hey guys. Amara, why do you look like a girl? Because I am a girl. Whoa, there's two Amaras in one place. One is a girl and one is a boy. Wait, so on this planet I'm a boy? Yes. On Earth, our teacher used to be so evil. I wonder what he's like here. Guys, why are you all studying alone? Where's the teacher? Did you forget that the teacher's been asleep for a long time? Asleep? How come? Because his powers were taken by his twin, who is now on Earth. Why can't anyone help him? How are we supposed to help him? We can't make it to planet Earth. And besides, the teacher on planet Earth is evil. That's true. If only I could go back to planet Earth and persuade the teacher not to destroy planet Reverse. You can't persuade him. You have to kill him. Why? Because as long as the evil teacher is still alive, we're always going to be in danger. So I have to go back to planet Earth? But how? You have to eat this chocolate and make sure as soon as you get there, you get rid of him. Okay. Don't worry, our school will have a teacher soon. I'm gonna go back to Earth and get rid of the evil teacher so our teacher here can wake up. Are you sure you can do it? 
I must be able to. I'm on Earth again. No wonder everything looks normal. Turns out Amara went to Planet Reverse. Sir? Did you find my son yet on Planet Reverse? Huh? Your son? Didn't you say your son was gone? I knew you were lying. What? What do you mean? Sir lied to everyone. His son is still alive. No, he's missing because he went to Planet Reverse. I also know you're planning on destroying Planet Reverse. That's it. You've said enough. Come with me. Stay there. Don't try to escape. Yes, I'm going back to Planet Reverse in two hours. No, that timer means how long there's left until Planet Reverse is destroyed. What? How do I stop this? You must kill the teacher before it's too late. But how do I do it? Look for the red button that's in the teacher's office. That button will kill him, but you have to be careful for him not to see you. How do I escape from him? There's no way out. Hey, actually, I've liked you for a long time. on earth but i'm curious about planet reverse what even is it hey mom <laughs> why are you crying your sister just died because she chose the planet reverse died yeah so please don't choose that planet you didn't choose it did you no i uh, chose to stay on earth okay good honey what why are the number of students decreasing everyone who chose the planet reverse died yesterday Wait, so people chose yesterday? Yes, that's why they're gone. You didn't choose it, did you? Me? No, of course not. I chose us. Good. Why do people even choose planets? If they know they'll die if they choose the reverse planet. People didn't die because they chose the planet. Then why did they die? Because of our teacher. If he knows that someone chose that planet, he'll get rid of them immediately. But why? He said that in the past his son chose that planet and that he never came back. Really? There'll be a planet check soon. A planet check? Yes, the teacher will catch and kill whoever chose the reverse planet. Why do you look so scared? You didn't choose it, did you? No, I chose planet Earth. Okay, then you can relax. There's still a long time before I go to the reverse planet. What if I get caught by the teacher? It's your turn for me to check what planet you Yes, chose. sir. Before I check, you have to close your eyes. So, it turns out there's still people who chose the reverse planet. I'm sorry, sir. Please don't kill me just yet. I already warned you. Don't choose the reverse planet. But your son is still alive. No, my son died because he chose the reverse planet. I promise I'll bring your son back. But you have to allow me to go there first. You're lying. You just want to go there. Catch her now. Shut up. Stay here. Why am I here, sir? I've told someone to come and kill you. I hope I go to the reverse planet before I get killed. Just wait right there. It's useless for you to try and persuade the teacher to go. Why is it useless? Because his son is still alive and he knows that. He just doesn't want anyone to go there. But why doesn't he want anyone to go there? Because there's something on the reverse planet, but no one knows why it is. Only his son does. There's only five seconds left. Don't worry, I'm gonna go and see for myself. Three, two, one.